Hi everybody, really quickly, I just wanted to give a quick word of encouragement today. You know, today I wanted to talk to you, some of you guys, first let me give a disclaimer, let me give a disclaimer. It's Super Bowl Sunday, and I have a house full of men in here, and I have to say this because if they get loud, and they do, they get loud, they ain't even getting paid for the stuff they get loud, they get loud over these players, whatever, whatever. So we're having a big family Super Bowl thing, so I need you guys to forgive me if y'all start hearing some noise. Anyway, I wanted to give a word of encouragement. Some of you guys are trying to fit at tables and sit at tables then that, that were not assigned to you. They were not assigned to you, so you're finding yourself squeezing in the places that God hasn't called you to. You're, you're finding yourself fighting for seats at a table that God didn't call you to. And so you're beginning to feel rejected. You're beginning to question the assignment on your life because you're trying to fly with people of birds that are not of the same feather as you. They don't, y'all, birds of a feather flock together and you're flocking with the wrong set of birds. God has said, listen, I need you to come on away from that table. It's not yours. So he's shutting doors. He's not allowing people to embrace you because it's not your table. I talked to a lady and she was telling me, she was like, Athena, and I'm paraphrasing big time because I just want to get this over in like two seconds. She said, Athena, I try to sit at a table and I got to this table. She said the reason why she couldn't launch, she didn't launch is because she went to sit at a table that she thought she was totally qualified for. She had, so she thought, you know, I, listen, y'all got what I got. Y'all got the same this and I got the same that. She get to the table and she comes against the spirit of rejection so hard. These people she thought would embrace her and embrace her vision. They actually became a little bit, I guess, intimidated or whatever. And I told her, I said, let me tell you something. You cannot let that stop you. Honey, when God shuts doors, tell him thank you. Jump and leap for joy. No, it doesn't feel good at first. But we have to be willing as God is launching us and we begin to embrace and surrender to our God-given purpose. We have to be able and willing to walk alone as God is preparing us for our God-given purpose. To walk in the calling that he has on our lives. God is saying to you today, I need you to come away from the tables that no longer serve you. I never sent you there. Some of y'all are sitting at places your time is up. Some of you guys will not catapult and reach your next level if you do not get out of some circles that were never designed for you. You're trying to be in this circle that God didn't even call you to. All because of what it looks like. All because it's prestigious and these people are sitting there. God blesses a person who's willing to walk alone. Do you want to walk in your purpose? Are you trying to fulfill your destiny? Or are you just trying to look the part? Does it mean more to you to sit at a table of people that don't belong to you than it is for you to fulfill your God-given purpose into this earth? God has an assignment on your life. And sometimes you got to be willing to walk this thing alone. There are people who are going to tell you oh, as you begin to woman up, as you begin to level up, that you don't belong places that God clearly called you to. And you hold your head up and you walk right through the doors that God assigned you to. Matter of fact, he's going to open those doors just for you. In his time. Don't you allow the opinions of other people and the people who told you. Let me tell y'all something. God loves to call the people, call on people and give people assignments who other people deem to be unqualified. Who do she think she is? Who do he think he is? I am a child of God and I'm on assignment. And I'm sorry that I don't meet your qualifications. But God, who he called, God called me to this assignment. So he qualified me for it. He qualified. There is a reason Moses was sent 
to Pharaoh's house as a baby. Because he knew later on that Pharaoh would have to know this man and come to him and say, God said, let my people go. He had to have some type of relationship with him to let him back in the house to hear what God said. So from the very beginning of time being set in the little river and being found by the wife and taken in was predestined. Everything you've been through, everything you've been through, God is going to use it for your God-given purpose. And he's telling you this day, stop worrying about being qualified. Quit worrying about sitting at tables. When the time comes, let me take this. Mm. I serve a God that says, I prepare is the table. <laughs> I prepare is the table. In front of the people who told you you wasn't qualified. In front of the people who talked about you and belittled you. Some of y'all in your own family. Saying you don't belong there. Come on back here. You belong over here. Sweetie, they not going to hear you. And I thank God I didn't come through a family like that. But there are some people who are this day. Your family is your problem. Your husband, your wife, your, they your problem. Not saying that you have to leave them per se. But you got to continue to do what God called you to do. Because they know the old you. And you're saying, I'm ready to level up and launch. And they're like, I don't see that. And you have to rest in God's word. God, you told me this thing. And there's something, let me tell y'all something. Nothing comes without a process. I know what it is. Some of y'all, you, you have this need to please. You have this people please. And this thing is real. Like she says it all the time because it's real. You know why most people don't level up and become who God has called them to be? Because they're so busy trying to please everybody else. Do you not know how many entrepreneurs quit? How many people don't do what God has called them to be? Because they're so worried about what everybody else is thinking, what everybody else is saying about them. You done sat at tables where you done heard people talk about other people. Now you scared to move forward because you scared them same people. Yeah, they're going to say something. They are going to say something. They are. Get over it. It's time to go. Listen, real quickly, some of you guys, some of you guys, your root of rejection, your wounds of rejection is so deep. God has given you, you got a call in your life. You got talents, you got gifts, and you letting these things, you just watching everybody else do something, and you saying, God, I want to do that. And it is passion burning inside of you. I want to launch, God, but my fear of being rejected is real. This is a real fear, God. And no, I really don't want to tell everybody that, but I really am scared of what other people are going to say, even though you're the one, I don't care what they say. But you go to bed and say, I really do care what they say. Because the minute somebody tell me that that wasn't enough, somebody don't like your post, somebody don't like something, you think it wasn't good enough, so you take it down and you walk away. I've been there. I know I did it. So I'm, I'm telling y'all stuff that I did. I had to overcome that stuff. And boy, when I got out of that, and I start running. And uh, let me say this to you. For some of you guys that God is saying you don't belong at certain tables. He's saying I'm connecting you with people. And I'm praying this right now for you guys that are watching this. And you know this is you. I'm praying that you, if you haven't accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. And I'm going to say this for a reason. It's like, oh my gosh, she's trying to call people to Christ. Yep, I sure am. That's part of my God-given purpose. Because if you don't have the Holy Spirit residing into you and leading and guiding you, you will rely on your own way, your own knowledge, your own reasoning. But when you can got the Holy Spirit residing on the inside of you, he will lead you down paths. He'll say, go this way. And you'll say, God, that don't look like I'm, I don't know. He said, go anyway. Because there's a door that I'm going to open down that road for you. And it's going to change your whole life. And because you are dependent on the word of God. You are dependent on the Holy Spirit. You go. So that's the thing. That's the thing. There are some people that go in their own knowledge. And they may reach some places. And they may have some things. They may even become financially successful. But then there's a fall. Because maybe they went too fast. They didn't hear the Holy Spirit. Let me say this. The Bible says 
He says, in all thy ways acknowledge me and I will direct thy paths. I will. He, God. All thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct thy path. I, God's going to do it for you. So why is it important to have the Holy Spirit? Why is it important to have Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? Because he can tell you to go places and the time to go because he knows your end from the beginning. No man knows your end from the beginning. Let me tell you something. I love a God who calls unqualified people. Now let me say this. People who people other people, other people think is unqualified. People thought Moses was unqualified. He had a stuttering problem. Come on now. Paul killed a few folk. Who was he to write the New Testament? Because he has been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Let me tell y'all something. God has given you the tools you need to become who he called you to be if you rely on him. So let me say this to you. For some of you guys, you know, said, Lord, I know I suffer with the wounds of rejection, abandonment, God, shame, humiliation. I done done some things I know I'm not proud of. And because I know that it's holding me to a place that I feel like if I do something that it's going to be exposed later or people going to talk about me and this going to happen. I need you to understand that before you can launch. And I'm going to say even while you begin to launch, let me put it that way because God let me launch as I was healing, honey. He God, he does that. As you are beginning to launch and you begin to adopt the mindset that I am who God says I am. I can fulfill my purpose on this earth. I will die empty and not full. That's you and you're ready. You're saying, God, I'm holding on to some things. I'm watching, I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm watching my clients thrive. Y'all, <laughs> me, God, you, you chose me, God. Y'all chose you. Y'all, God got some people he needs you to get to. They got your name on it. They got your name on them. God said, I'm saving you for sister so-and-so and brother so-and-so. They going to help bring them out. When Moses was born, he knew Moses was going to do everything Moses did. So Moses had to go through some things. And yeah, he had to even feel a little bit unqualified. Like God, me, yeah, you. But God, do you not? I know. I know. But every time you go to say what I tell you to say, people going to understand you. Until then, I'm going to give you a help. Your, your brother help you. I got some things set up for you. I want y'all to know that their God is assigning some people just to you. Let me tell you something. I have a set of leaders. I love my leaders. They are the, When God blessed me with my pastor, who was my mentor, my mom, you know, he blessed me with her. I can only know, imagine that God said before I was ever born, I'm going to let her run into a person, run into some leaders. And all throughout my journey of serving God, he has given me some great leaders. I can't even, all of them are great. But for this season in my life, he gave me my leader. And I said, God, I thank you. He said, I ordained her just for you and the people that she served. I knew your name was already written. <laughs> she was assigned to you before she ever knew you, before you were ever born. Got some, got some people assigned to you before you were ever born. He knew I would be on here. He knew you would hear this this day. But because I've came out of my fear, wondering how everybody feel my videos are, and it's got to be perfect. Now I just say what I gotta say. God say say it today. I was writing around like God. I don't feel like recording today. Y'all, I do, be honest, I do not like recording. That's why y'all get me here and there sometimes. And God said, tell the people what I said. Stop aspiring to sit at tables. Stop aspiring to try to get other people's approval. And you say this to yourself, God, you told me to go and I'm going. I don't know quite yet what it is you, I'm learning about what it is you called me to do. I know what my passion is. I know what you're speaking to me in the wee hour of the night. So let me say this to you. As you begin to surrender to your purpose, part of that is going to be healing the wounds of your soul. Because unless you heal the wounds of your soul, your soulless realm will cause you to continue to settle. And it won't let you go as far as you need to go. You understand what I'm trying to say? And so each new level requires you 
to reassess yourself at the end of the day. So right now, I'm speaking to those of you who've been rejected. The door's been shut on you. And you're saying, God, I'm, I'm, I've kind of given up right now. I'm, I'm giving up right now. I don't know. And God is saying, I need you to move forward. I've assigned some people for you. Don't worry about this. Let me have it. And release yourself. Close the door to some circles that you're in that you know no longer serve you. And stop aspiring to sit at tables that don't belong to you. You had to fight because that wasn't your table. I'm going to scoot you to a table. You're going to be invited. There are some tables you're going to be even invited to that if you hear the whole, that's why you need the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit to say, listen, sweetie, that's not your table. There's things I just had to turn down, be like, no, God didn't tell me to do that. I'm sorry. And now it's not, it's not going along with my purpose right now. It's not, it's not what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm like, God, come on. I've been looking for this. He said, not yet, babe. I got some things I need you to do. So yes, Lord. Because he knows my end from the beginning. You get that? You get it? So today, if you need somebody, you say, Athena, this is me. This is me. I need somebody to talk to. I do suffer with these wounds of rejection. I become a people pleaser. I'm helping everybody achieve their dreams. I don't know how to get started. I need you to reach out to me. Y'all, also... Um, this month, I will be launching my leadership program for some of you guys who aspire to be coaches. Um, and, and you're saying, I'm one of God has called me to use my expertise to be able to bless other people. And I want to monetize that. And I just don't know how to get started. I need you guys to reach out to me so that you can become part of my leadership group. Um, it's, it's the um, Professional Coaches Leadership Academy. And so I'm excited about it, guys. I meant to show my little thing. I got registered with the state. I already got my Facebook up, and I just got to put the information in it. And everything is pretty much ready. So in that program, not only am I going to teach you how to monetize what you know and pick your niche and monetize. A lot of people tell you to do all this stuff, but they won't tell you. Let me tell you something. Walking this thing out is not easy. But you get me to coach you through that. And um, and for some of you guys to say, Athena, I'm just... I'm I'm just hurting. Y'all make an appointment. Invest. This is going to be the, one of the best investments you make is to invest into your healing. The best thing I did was allow God to heal my wounded soul. And, and he's still healing me, you guys. And I'm like, God, you've been doing this for a while. I, God, I, didn't, I wasn't broken for nothing. I wasn't injured for nothing. Miss Lady had a problem. That was over 40-something years of going through. And y'all in ministry and love God. And preaching his word and singing his word and ministering to people. Injured. Oh, but when God began to tell me, I gave God permission to allow his dunamis power that was released when he rose from the dead. Oh, my God. <laughs> to eradicate and destroy anything in me that keeps me from walking in my God given. And when you accept the Holy Spirit into you, say, God, I, I accept the Holy Spirit. I accept you as my personal Savior. Right now, God, in the name of Jesus, I can't do this thing without you. I can't become who you called me to be without you. I'm sorry for making it about anything else but you. Lord, forgive me. And I asked you to take over. I asked you to consume my life and my heart. Create in me a clean heart. Renew a right spirit in me and God remove the clutter of my mind. God, Father, my subconscious mind that's been built on rejection. Some of the things that I've been through in my childhood, in my marriage, as I went through life, God has, has talked to me and told me that I wasn't enough and that I didn't have what it takes. But God, you created me with everything I need within myself to be successful. And you said greater is he that is in me than greater than, than those is my naysayers, as those is in the world. You said I am more than a conqueror, God. You said these things about me. You said I was fearfully and wonderfully made. And, and God, you know how to use 
everything in my favor, God. And you said, if I would seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all his righteousness, that all these things will be added unto me, God. So, God, I accept you in my life as my personal Savior. That's all he wants you to say. And I relinquish the things of my past so that I can hear you, God. So, God, as you begin to heal my soul, I asked you, God, to replace it with the fruits of the Spirit. God, so I can see what it is and envision myself as the person you called me to be. Oh, he's waiting on you. <laughs> he wants you, I tell you. And if you need help, reach out to me. Listen, y'all, I'm going to post a link to my, the link to my book, I Healed on Purpose. At the bottom of this video, Lord, please don't let me forget to do that once this video uploads. Um, so I'm not going to edit this video. So whatever y'all hear, y'all heard, okay? I'm not editing it today because I want y'all to get it today. So um, I'm going to post the link under this video and um, of I Healed on Purpose. This, the I Healed on Purpose book. Y'all, I can't find my book in my office because when people come here, <laughs> I think... I done sold all the books out of my office, but I don't have to go somewhere and get them. I'm not going to stop this video. Matter of fact, no, I'm not. The link will be below so you can see the picture of it. Get the book, I Healed on Purpose. This book will help you identify which wounds are operating in your life. Why do I need to know which of these wounds? The wound of rejection is the, is that, that core wound. And so from rejection comes humiliation, comes abandonment, comes betrayal and, and injustice. And God, because once you understand the different wounds that some, some people suffer from all of those wounds, which wounds you identify by how you're living. God, this is me. This is me. But you also understand why those wounds are present, not just because my dad left me or not just because of this happened. There's more to it. So get the book, but also it gives you a daily guide to help you as you are healing from those wounds to adopt the mind of Christ because it is present with God's word. And so everything you are taught in this book is teaching with the word of God. It also helps you to pray the prayers that's needed for God to heal that particular wound, to get you through that process so that you can soar because you are destined to soar. You are destined to win. And so I guarantee you, get this book, it will change your life. It will change your life. Don't forget, reach out to me if you need me. Get the book, y'all. These investments are going to be the best investments you ever make in your life. And don't you forget, you talk to God. You, you, you sit there and you talk to God. You, you get that relationship with you and God together so that you can stop hanging your head because you know you ain't doing what God calls you. And some of y'all are ready to quit. And God said, you better not quit. Ready to quit because somebody didn't close the door and told you you wouldn't belong at a table. And God is saying, Well, you don't. That ain't your table anyway. But God is preparing a table just for you, just for your call, just for your work. He said, Get your heart right first so that when I send you out there, you won't soar up there and then fall and bust your head. You'll stay in the air where you belong because you're no longer assigned to the ground. Listen, you guys, have a great Sunday. You have a great week. And I'll be back soon. Thanks for watching.